Hello and welcome to Made in Hebridge Bridge Cloud Security Connector for CScaler for Amazon AWS. In this video, we're going to see how to install the Cloud Security Connector on Amazon AWS. The Cloud Security Connector for Amazon uh, need to be installed on a VPC or with an external subnet and internal subnet already ready before the launch. Uh, the prerequisite is very simple. The only thing you need to have ready is the subnets and the key for the connector. Okay. Uh, in this demonstration, I have a machine here, an Ubuntu server, on the internal subnet, and I'm going to launch the connector. To explain, the, the, the connector works as any, any other connectors or for VMware or KVM, uh, and is having uh, three IPs on the internal interface, two on the external, one on the external going to CSKLR and the other one for direct web passes to the internet. The architecture of the AWS connector is equal than uh, the other connectors of the Made in Bridge family. Let's take a look for the prerequisites and I have my Amazon console uh, I am in the region of Oregon and I'm going to take a look of my VPC because I need the subnets available. I created two subnets. Normally the subnet already created and maybe you need to create the external. And in this case I will use this subnet for external interface and the 200 for the internal interface. The other prerequisite is to have a key. Normally we have keys all the time. If you don't have a key pair created or if you want to create one for the connector, do it now. Create a key pair. And then this is the old prerequisite, the subnet and the key. Now let's go to the marketplace. And this is the, the connector of the marketplace. Please ask me for this URL. Uh, the first act that you need to do is uh, to subscribe to the connector and to accept the software. I, did, I already uh, did it. And the next is continue with the configuration. Uh, fulfillment options, CSC deployment, the software is 2.1, and the region in my case is Oregon. Place attention to this, and then continue with the launch. And the action we are going to launch is using the CloudFormation template. And this is the confirmation uh, uh, page now. You can save this URL if you want to have access directly to the template and to launch the this template in another places, or you can do it always from the market. Uh, let's click next. I will put uh, in a name here, CSC Jerry Oregon. Oregon number two name and I will need to select now my VPC and the external subnet. Remember I'm using this an external subnet and my internal subnet. Again important both subnet need to be part of the same availability zone. Okay. Uh, instance. The, the you can select uh, T2 small, T2 medium, T2 large. We are going to withdraw this one. Uh, honestly, the, it's very light. The connector is very light in terms of resource, and you can use any of this. Uh, the way that uh, the difference between them is the performance on networking. Uh, the large performs near one gigabyte. Uh, the medium uh, half gigabyte, gigabps per second, and the small is about. 200 uh, megabit per second or 400 megabit per second. Honestly, Amazon has not uh, committed numbers on throughput. Uh, they say low to moderate, low to something, but there is no commitment. But according to our test, the T2 large is always uh, more than 800 megabit per second and the medium is around uh, 500 and the small is 300 or something like that. If you don't need uh, more than 300, you can use a small, don't worry about it. And the key. 
assign the key, the thumbnail, the key, put the name, and launch it. That's it. Next, next, create. What is happening now? This image is uh, going to be launched and we need to wait up to the status is created there's this a lot of task here that is doing is creating interfaces is creating security groups internal external is creating public ips is creating the image then it's a lot of work that this uh, machine is doing at this moment let's wait for the complete So I need to select here. As you can see, selecting the resource now is near complete. It's very, very fast. If you need to do this, this manually or with a firewall, it's painful, right? It's, it's absolutely automated. Okay, now that it's created, and I can go to my instance and take a look. I have two running instance in Oregon, and let me put the one if one. I have this, this is the connector, and this is Ubuntu server. I'm going to log in this machine in order to get access to the connector. Look at this, the connector has two public IP, one will be for the GRE tunnels, another is for the bypass proxy. There is a lot of internal IPs because it's three internal IPs and two external IPs. Uh, the connector follow the same architecture than all other connectors, three IPs, okay? I will explain this in a little bit, in a minute. Uh, let's go now and do an SSH on this connector. Uh, in order to do an SSH, we need to check which is the IP assigned for this connector. Remember the internal interface is Ethernet 1, then the IP is this one. And I can get access to the initial wizard for the configuration of the connector. I'll save here. I'll say yes. Okay, I'm, I'm in. And the first task that you need to do is to fill the GRE tunnels information. And now, what you need to do is read this IP, take a look of this IP, copy this IP, go to your CSKeller console, uh, go to submit a ticket, and on submit a ticket, please ask, I want uh, a GRE tunnel from this source IP, my location is Oregon and US. Yes. And the people for customer support CSKL will recommend the best nodes. Uh, in case you want to specify the nodes, you can do it here. And remember, this is tax, yeah, general, priority, normal, provisioning, and select provisioning, GRE tunnel. Right. Submit a ticket and wait for the answer of CSKLer. When you have an answer of CSKLer, the, 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 the CSKLer answer is like this. I did, I did this for another connector. As you can see, the information you need to get access, you can copy and paste on the wizard. Well, it takes some time. I will not do the, the, the ticket now. Uh, but remember to have this information on hand and also to create the location. Always please go to administration locations and create the location where your values. I have a location created here for this IP that is in North Virginia. We are going to, to see this in a minute. Okay, the wizard is very simple. When you have the values ready, just put, I want to continue. I want to select my cloud. If we are CS Cloud, CS Killer 2, I will put CS Cloud. And you need to you select your DNS servers. You can use the, the Amazon, or you can uh, select your own if you want to select your own. I want to say I want to use my own DNS. I'm 
selecting Google or whatever. And are you happy with this configuration? Do you, yes, I don't want to change, but please put your values here. And after this, you need to review, check, and reboot. And that's it. This is the all task that you need to do. Okay. After the 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 device is rebooting, uh, you will uh, be able. To, you you will be connected to CSCaler. Uh, in order to do this, I will go to. Let, let's take it. It's very very fast to connect. All. Let me. Let's try to wait for this. Probably it's not down yet. Yeah, let's put it down. But it's very fast. It's less than a minute that the connector uh, is uh, doing the reboot process. Okay, now the connector is up, and let's go in again. Okay, is uh, this is the in some values the instance, the zone. If you take a look of show configuration status, please uh, let's let's do a quick review of this. In show configuration status, you you will receive all the information about the. Uh, general information about the zone this is all for troubleshoot purpose in case it's needed and you have here the all ip information uh checking if the gateways are alive normally it's, uh, it, it is true your gateway ip your pip proxy and your bypass proxy information the GRE tunnels so in this case well these values that are not correct because we didn't do the the ticket and the keeper lives and all this stuff. Uh, this note that uh, the three IP uh, concept of the connector, the internal interface IP is the gateway, and you can send all program. You can use this as the default gateway on your infrastructure. It can be the default gateway for all this machine, and you can send all program protocols to see a scaler using firewall in the cloud. Uh, the second IP is the BAP proxy. The BAP proxy is when you select, you want to use CSKLA as a proxy only, or w with a pack file or explicit proxy, and you point your pack file to this and you send through CSKLA. And the next one is the bypass proxy, when you want to send traffic direct, and you can configure the bypass proxy and to send traffic directly to the internet. Okay, uh, let me show one that is working with the con it's with the configuration on it, and let me move to North Virginia. I like it. Okay, uh, in North Virginia, we have running uh, a connector on a T2 large interface, and I have a machine behind the connector, and I'm accessing remotely to the machine that is behind the connector. As you can see, if I refresh here, this machine is using this public IP to reach to see scaler is going to Washington, DC. Uh, and I am accessing, this is the console of the connector. I'm running, uh, I, I run uh, a speed test for this case. As you can see, the, the, the values of the speed. This is a normal speed with a large uh, image is 800 Mbps is 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 a good speed. And normally it will uh, it will be good enough for all uh, for most cases. If I do uh, let me do this uh, show configuration and status. Here I have my information. This is my gateway BAP proxy. Um, the information of the tunnel in this case I have the correct values so you can see 
these are the values that I inserted here the keep alive the GRE if active or not which is the primary node the C scaler all the tests that the connector uh, provides in case you have any problem with the GRE tunnels or you want to change something you have the ability the difference between this connector and other connectors is here you can change the the values of the GRE tunnels if you want to do it again Oop. okay well uh, this is uh, all for the moment as you can see to deploy the connector is very very easy on Amazon it's all about to have ready the subnets and on the same availability zone one key and and done you are connected to CSKL in the simplest way possible thank you very much for your time and see you soon in the next video